these tournaments mental. It, it takes a lot out of you. You know, you got a lot of people, a lot of lights, a lot of noise, and uh, you, you, you work all year for this. And so it doesn't matter if you're way better than the guy you got to wrestle. It still is hard because it's mentally challenging because you want to perform great each match. So from match one to your finals match or whatever you're wrestling, each match is freaking taking it out of you. Mentally, you know, physically, physically I feel fine right now. You know, uh, I'm a little tired, but it's mainly mental. It's just mentally I'm tired. It's been a long year. It's been a great year. I'd like to thank everybody in Michigan, my family, my fiance. Um, she had our, our daughter over the summer, and so Madeline's nine months right now. Um, we live about an hour from Ann Arbor, so commuting an hour both ways, raising a child in wrestling at Division One, you know, Big Ten. It's, it was a freaking challenge, but it was something that Coach Bormack called me. I was working as a school teacher. He called me. He's like, hey, you want to do this? And I'm like, let me give it some thought. Let me talk to my, my fiance. Let me talk to my parents. Got back with them. I said, let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's, uh, you know, let's embrace it because this is going to freaking make us make us grow. So you're saying he talked to you into coming back to the sport? This yeah, time? I was working as a school teacher up until um, the new year. Um, so that's why I wasn't I wasn't enrolled in, in school or training. I was working as a school teacher, um, teaching phys ed in Lansing, Michigan. And so from from, from going from a, a school teacher um, PE to competing at a Big Ten schedule, it was freaking tough. I got to give Andy Simmons a lot of a lot of credit because um, Coach Bormat was working with me that hour drive there and back, two hours in a car every day can take it out of you. So I got a room back home where Andy came in maybe once a week to take that trip out of the out of the training and I was able to wrestle with him. So Andy Simmons, he's like my brother, I love you man. I appreciate it. He's been working with me since I was a child. Josh, thank you. Um, again my family, my dad, my brother, my sister, all of them. Thank you guys. So you what were brought you what brought you back? Then. What, what was the, the challenge? The challenge, you know, I've, I've done this since I was three years old and it's in Detroit and it's something that, you know, I, I wanted to look back, you know, when I, I got a daughter and I want to, I want to, I want to raise her and explain to her that you can do anything if you set your mind to it. It doesn't matter, you know, and I know I fell short of my goal, but you got to chase those goals because if you're not chasing goals, what's life to live? You know what I mean? You got to make life worth living. And uh, so, so I, I, I firmly believe that I have the capability to beat anybody on this bracket. I firmly believe that I could win this bracket, you know. However, it didn't fall into my favor. It's all right. I'm going to live. I'm going to move on. I'm going to find out what's next for me and my family. You are a teacher. You will be teaching students in the future. So Actually, what will you teach? Or you I, didn't even, I didn't even go to school to be a teacher. I just found a job and said, I need some money. I got a daughter. I applied to it. I got the position. And uh, started working as a gym teacher. I had no idea what I was doing. I just went in there and figured it out. So, you so still have a job? No. So you got to go find another job? Yeah, I'll go find a job. I got a college degree from the University of Michigan, so I should be able to hopefully get a job. If somebody's got a job for me, let me know. <laughs> Is the pressure off now? Do you feel like we were talking... And you, you know, you were so laser focused when we did an interview earlier. Yeah. You're not the same guy right now. You're, it feels like is there some pressure off you? Do you feel some relief right now? I feel like a million bucks right now. I feel like great. You know, I just want to go maybe go for a swim or something and just <laughs> chill, go have a good dinner with my family, and just relax and uh, figure out what's next. You know, I got I got some young guys over the summer that I was helping train, Josh Barr and. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go maybe help those guys out a little bit, help the guys out at Michigan, and just slowly maneuver into what's next, figuring it out, you know? Do you have any desire to go back to being a PE teacher? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a lot. I mean, it's, it's uh, it was an interesting, you know, experience. It was a great experience, so it sharpened me mentally. You know, working with kids, you gotta learn to, to um, take things with a grain of salt, you know what I mean, and, and be flexible, understanding them, uh, 
it's, it's it, it made me grow a lot. Well, you mentioned coming back partially because the finals were in Detroit. Your team didn't 